Ling Chi, welcome to Chinese brush painting for beginners. And um, we often hear the starting of brush painting for subject called Four Gentlemen. Uh, one is orchid as spring, and bamboo is summer, and then chrysanthemum is fall, and at the end, the winter is plum blossom. And uh, we already covered the uh, orchid and um, bamboo in other program. And now we're getting to chrysanthemum. And this is the subject is the least covered in the Four Gentlemen. I think because people a lot of time relate this to spider mums. And then that's kind of a little bit uh, challenging to paint and start i'm going to introduce one of our book by johnson chow and uh, is book of the chrysanthemum in this particular book has um some very simple um way of doing mums and start with line work. This is the starting. And then have simple illustration of, today I will also show you the um, bud and also the daisy-like uh, mums, uh, chrysanthemum, and uh, simple of the spiders and then in go into detail a little bit more complicated into um, leaves stalks and complete um, completely subjects and both style in xie yi style as well as um, fine line style and um, we will also show you some examples today on this particular, what we're talking about. The first demo I'm going to do is on our uh, single shuan, the premium J-Play single shuan. We just got this paper. It's uh, give you brilliant color but then it's not too difficult to control moisture for beginners. As far as brush, for the flower part of the subject, the flower we will use one of the hard brush and um, uh, can give you a point and then still able to make a um, somewhat uh, wider shape in the middle and then also uh, ending with the tip. So you need to find a brush has good um, tip. That's number one. So choose a brush, hard to medium hard brush. And um, I have, I will introduce all different brushes that which one I prefer. And then the stalks and then the um, leaves that we will, we are going to use the uh, orchid bamboo in, in this case. And um, first, I'm going to um, introduce brushes. Um, the flower, the petal part, we can use um, one of very popular brush, Happy Dot. or mountain horse fine. 
And then this is my recent favorite brush. It's our small twig brush. And I tell you the why. Comparatively, the brush has a very sharp tip and then uh, a little bit fat um, body. And um, it has a very good um, study center. So it gives you easy to control the the stroke and um, and uh, it doesn't uh, need a lot of skill. So I th think beginners the twig brush I would highly recommend. But if you have Happy Dog or Mountain Horse Fine, they work too. And then the color I'm going to use um, both um, bright light and as well as our companion set. The companion set is great for sport or moment that didn't take time to, um, to set it up and, uh, you can paint anytime you want. And, um, I have, uh, mid yellow from bright light and yellow, purple and green. I need to make some more, um, for the, for the body, the leaves. This is the indigo. So I have a light green and a dark green. And we have um, scheduled a couple Q&A sessions. And then the last one we did was on the paper. People would like to know how to mix in the colors. So coming in the next few sessions uh, later, we will um, discuss about how to uh, use the color. And um, so as far as the, this particularly, um, the flower petal is involved is, um, so I will, Start with light yellow, or rattan yellow, and then mid yellow, and then blend. So the stroke that we, you want to practice, the center is like a bracket. One to the left and one to the right. They hugging each other. So this is the first step. One to the right, one to the left. And then the outside petal. So sometimes you kind of a little bit So you can see this brush, after all the stroke, I never have to work the tip. So that's a kind of brush you want. And then the stock is what we call the bone stroke. And then the leaves.
this is completely or from the top These are the basic stroke, and um, you can do different colors. We did the yellow with uh, mid yellow from the bright light color. We also have bright light colors purple. A lot of purple chrysanthemum. So then we do. Here, here, and here, and here. And then the same brush, we're using the, um, our companion set, yellow and uh, vermilion. Okay, so now I'm going to do some simple composition. The first one, I'm using companion set to do a bud. And then I use the same brush. So that's the bud. And then I can also do, now this time I'm using the bright color to do the chrys chrysanthemum the daisy style. So I'm doing a kind of oval shaped center. And then I'm going to do Petal. So I'm filling in. So long, short, long, short. Then use the same brush. Do the same. So this is the beginner you can practice. And then, um, then we will start in a um, complete composition for you. Switch your paper. So this, even though it's a complete composition, but somehow it's still simpler. So the flower is, um, you're looking from the outside in. So this is what we are trying to do. I'm using the small
Twig brush. And so I started with the center of the flower. So it's about six strokes. They looking at each other. So you can see that I did six strokes. My tip is still holding together. So if you have trouble with your brush, then it's time to treat yourself with a new brush. And I'm start doing the side. So a little bit longer. So this is a U uh, V shape. side. So they are all coming back to the center of here. So again, another emphasize. Make sure you don't have to work your brush tip. So this is very important. Otherwise, you just endless frustration. So what you're meaning by that is after you do the stroke on a good brush, after you even do many strokes, you don't have to reshape the tip to a fine point. Yes. That the brush just naturally easily finishes in a fine point. So now we're using calyx to hold this flower. So I'm still using my little twig brush, using the green a little bit tip the ink. Then now I need a bigger brush for the, the leaves of the flower. So I'm using light ink, a little bit dark, uh, I'm sorry, light green and a little bit dark green. And, uh, So the light is coming this way, so the darker is leaves is on this side. Green with ink. So this is the first first cut cluster. And then this is a little bit longer. And then we'll do the second cluster.
And then we're going to do the stem to hold the flower. So it's light, dark ink. Light and dark ink. So we strand this together. And then we do purple dark leaves. I'm happy that to connect it all together. So this is our simple chrysanthemum composition. And after this, I'm going to introduce a couple of different variety you can do. This one, we did it on the color paper. is the gray gold flag. And... Um, the flower, we're using two white. One is, you, you can either, it's a gouache white. You can either Da Vinci to gouache white or um, Sakura. And then tip with bleed proof. So one of these two, and then tip bleed proof. And, um, the leaf is the same color as the other composition. And I will do a demo for you on the petal. So I'm using the Quick brush. This is my gouache white. So I load first load with the gouache, which is Da Vinci or Sakura white, and then I tip with bleed proof white. And then, so I do a bigger stroke. You can see. One side the other side, the center, so the rest of it is the same as the, my other demo. I have two more samples to show you. This one, the flower is a lot more glamorous and more complicated. The center is built with all these little strokes that like our center, but from into a round shape like a pumpkin. And this flower, you are looking from the top down and then the side stroke is the same and the leaf is the same. This is white on the gold, gray gold flag. And then the last one, which a lot of interest right now is being expressed, is the um, fine line style, which we will cover in another subject later on, uh, program later on. Uh, which is 
line work, and then we wash with different colors. And this is on a different kind of paper. It's complete sized paper, and um, uh, the technique is quite different. But you can see it's also very interesting and stunning. Um, if you like to see it, give us a uh, email or um, comment. We will um, show it in another time. Mm -hmm.